These two teams played three times last year. Pitt won all three, including the finale in the ACC tournament. He has been one of the top freshmen in the ACC this season. Hinson, seven for seven for three against Duke. Had 24 points in the win, and Federico Federico played well against Georgia Tech in the three games last year, and there is Nate George. Uh, Henson took good shots, and he didn't miss on Saturday. He's backing down. Sacco using that girth, and you played in the old Big East. Pitt always had a guy in the build of a Blake Henson. Well, Blake Henson is such a matchup problem because he's a terrific three-point shooter. He's not shot it well as of late. Well, at Duke was 7-7, seven seven, but before that, was struggling a little bit. But he can do just that. He's just size, post up. He's strong. Just a, a tough matchup for anybody trying to defend him. On the run out, it's Zach Austin, the two-handed hammer. And right there. Also was one of the best shot blockers in the country. George, that doesn't go. Offensive rebound, Reeves. Georgia Tech's a pretty good offensive rebounding team. And Kowasi, Reeves, known as a shooter, not necessarily known as somebody who's going to crash the glass hard, but that time just un check for and able to get the easy finish. The lob to Austin playing above the rim yet again. And Zach Austin playing way above the rim. Low almost lost it. Batted around. Carrington kicks to the corner. Henson a long three to beat the shot clock. It's good. He's made his last eight three-point shots, and that ties Cam Johnson's school record for most consecutive threes made. That was a good 10 feet behind the three-point line, as you see a great finish there by Nate George on the other end. But that looked effortless. I mean, that was Steph Curry type range right there. That was a very impressive three from Blake Henson. Low, the smooth lefty shot, back-to-back -back threes by Pitt. Blake Henson, shot clock running low, way behind that line. Knocking down a big one for the Panthers. Still time on the shot clock. Sturdivant zippers inside, high off the window, and gets the home roll. Out of three second differential between game clock and shot clock. Sturdivant pulls up. He's got 10 in the opening half. Dongo bodies up Federico. Gets deep and gets two. Yeah, good finish there. Pretty good defense. Locker room couldn't ask for a better start for Damon Stoudemire's group, but getting the ball inside. Let's play inside. Austin, baseline, gets clobbered. Here comes Reeves. George has a trailer in Kelly. Reeves catch and shoot the corner three where he is lethal. In the late 90s, early 2000s. Here comes Carrington. Man, there is a lyricism to his game. Carrington with good position. Over Kapari. 15 for Bub Carrington. Bub Carrington seems to be proving that wrong a little bit here tonight. I know Georgia Tech's winning this basketball game. Oh! Kowasi reads the throwdown. Where did that come from? Gotta be the hair. The answer at the other end. Kowasi Reeves with the highlight reel. Shot clock at eight, low. Driving on Claw, the basket, plus the foul. He showed it against Duke on Saturday. Put into the starting. Lowe's got six to go along with three assists. Entry pass, Diaz Graham. He's got 10. No team has led by more than six tonight. Leggett, turbines inside, and Pitt has the largest lead by either team. Yeah, that was a tough finish there by Ishmael Leggett, but that's about the second or third time here in the second half we've seen him put the ball on the floor and be aggressive and able to finish. And that's that's what we talked about. Getting him back healthy is only going to help this pit team as the year goes on. Start at the lob to Dongo. Staying with that 2-3 zone. How does Pitt want to attack? But they love to get the side ball screens here, get the overload. And that time, leg it wide open in the corner. And a great extra pass by Carrington. Pitt, Georgia Tech got a little confused, didn't communicate. 
Just a little overload, send the man through to the corner. Two on one, a great extra pass, and a huge three by Ishmael Leggett. That was Jalen Lowe, and it's another big three late in the game by Lowe. Reeves from long distance from Marietta. The corner, Jalen Lowe has not shot the ball well from behind the arc, but a huge answer. Shot clock down to 10. Leggett over George. That time, Ishmael Leggett hits the three, and Pittsburgh extends to a nine-point lead. Yeah, and Ishmael Leggett only three made threes, and George with the answer. Out, out, George, the freshman coming up here in crunch time a few moments ago low. Now it's George. Well, Pitt follows up Saturday's win at Cameron Indoor with another road win here at Georgia Tech.